DDR1. Let's go back to the early 2000s, when computers were slow, heavy, and loading a single game felt like waiting forever. Back then, a new type of memory changed everything. It was called DDR1 RAM. DDR stands for Double Data Rate, and that was a big deal. Before this, computers could only send data once per clock cycle, but DDR1 could send it twice. Imagine you're driving on a road where you could only deliver one package per trip, and suddenly, you can deliver two. That's exactly what DDR1 did for computers. It made PCs faster, smoother, and more powerful than ever before. For the first time, people could play games, run music players, and browse the internet without waiting ages for things to load. Sure, by today's standards, DDR1 was slow, just around 266 to 400 minohertz, but in its time, it was a huge leap forward. DDR1 was the foundation of everything that came later. It taught computers how to multitask better and set the stage for the lightning-fast RAM we use today. You could say DDR1 walked, so DDR5 could run. DDR2. After DDR1 changed the game, the world wanted computers that were even faster, and that's when DDR2 RAM arrived. Think of it like the teenage version of DDR1. Smarter, quicker, and much more efficient. DDR2 came around 2003, and it didn't just increase speed, it doubled it. While DDR1 worked at around 266 to 400 megahertz, DDR2 could reach up to 800 megahertz. That meant faster loading times, smoother apps, and better performance for gamers and professionals alike. But speed wasn't the only upgrade. DDR2 also used less power, so computers ran cooler and more efficiently something that really mattered as laptops started becoming more common. Imagine you're on that same delivery road from earlier. DDR1 could send two packages per trip. DDR2? It widened the road, allowing you to deliver even more packages without wasting fuel. With DDR2, the world saw a new era of computing. Faster internet, better games, and smoother multitasking. It was the bridge that carried us from the early 2000s into the age of modern PCs. DDR3. By the time DDR3 RAM arrived, around 2007, the world of computers had already changed a lot. Social media was growing, HD games were everywhere, and people wanted speed more than ever before. That's where DDR3 stepped in, faster, smarter, and more powerful than its older brothers. DDR3 took what DDR2 did and multiplied it. It could reach speeds up to 1600 megahertz or even more while using less power, only about 1.5 volts compared to DDR2's 1.8 volts. That meant cooler systems, longer laptop battery life, and much better performance overall. Think of DDR3 like upgrading from a four-lane road to a six-lane highway. More space, more speed, and smoother traffic. Games loaded faster, videos rendered quicker, and multitasking finally felt natural. It was also the generation that stayed with us the longest. For almost a decade, DDR3 became the standard in millions of computers around the world. Even today, some older PCs still use it because it was built to last. You could say DDR3 was the most popular and reliable member of the DDR family, the one that truly made fast computing feel normal. DDR4. Then came the year 2014, and with it, the next big leap in memory technology, DDR4 RAM. This was the point where computers truly started feeling fast. DDR4 wasn't just an upgrade, it was a transformation. With speeds starting around 2133 MHz, and going well beyond 3200 megahertz, DDR4 made everything feel snappier. From gaming and editing videos to opening dozens of browser tabs at once, what made DDR4 really special was how efficient it became. It used even less power, just 1.2 volts, which meant laptops could run longer without heating up or draining the battery too fast. Imagine you're back on that data highway again. DDR3 gave you six lanes, DDR4? It turned it into a super highway with smarter traffic control and better lighting. Data could now move faster and smoother than ever. For gamers and creators, this was the golden era. Smoother gameplay, faster rendering, and stable performance. DDR4 became the heart of most modern PCs, and for many years, it ruled the market as the perfect balance between speed, power, and efficiency. DDR5. And now, we've reached the latest chapter, DDR5 RAM the true power behind today's high-end PCs and gaming monsters. Introduced around 2021, DDR5 isn't just faster, it's on a whole new level. Where DDR4 maxed out around 3200 megahertz, DDR5 can start at 4800 megahertz and go all the way up to 8400 megahertz or more. That means data moves almost twice as fast, giving your computer the muscle to handle 4K gaming, heavy multitasking, and AI-level workloads with ease, but speed is only half the story. DDR5 is also smarter. 
it manages power more efficiently, has built-in chips for better performance, and allows your system to run cooler and more stable even under pressure. Imagine you're now driving on an AI-controlled highway. Cars move themselves perfectly, no traffic jams, no wasted time. That's how DDR5 handles your data. Smooth, intelligent, and incredibly fast. It's the reason modern CPUs like Intel's 12th Gen and AMD's Ryzen 7000 series perform like beasts. DDR5 is built for the future, for faster gaming, powerful editing, and technologies we haven't even fully seen yet. From DDR1's small beginnings to DDR5's blazing speeds, we've witnessed over two decades of progress packed into these tiny memory chips. And the future? It's only getting faster. You just saw how RAM speed changed everything. But here's the truth. Without the right CPU, that speed means nothing. Click on this video where I've explained every Intel CPU, from Celeron to Core i9, in just five minutes. And if you subscribe now, you'll never be confused by tech specs again.